disciple John and I were practicing today, and we were uh, working on a section on Jerlu. But that section is also found in the White Ape Steals the Peach form. And so I was trying to run him through all the very minute movements. I want to show them to you. It was this technique, and I've showed this a couple times already in videos showing the fighting application. Where you do the jowl, you do the calling him, inviting him to block. So I throw this over. Now I'm going to break this down piece by piece. The first thing that happens when he blocks is I turn my hand over to get a control of his wrist. Now, this bottom hand is going to replace the other hand. Okay? So here, here, here to grab underneath his arm. Now, the power comes not just from this, the power comes from my pushing off of the front leg back to shift my weight so that I'm throwing my own body backwards. And that's where the power comes when I go to jerk him. Here and here. Now, you'll notice John, when he was practicing, he was trying to do this because he was trying to emphasize the waist, which is good and which I generally um, really harp on. But in this case, it's not just the waist turn. It's this pull back with the body. Now, the next move is the hook punch. But this time, once I'm back here, and you'll notice this hand lands about 90 degrees from where I'm traveling. This time I push off my back leg to add to the strike. Now it doesn't have to be far. I told John it's basically about a foot length is all, or a half foot length, because when you've jerked the guy, he's already coming to you. So it's not like you gotta chase him and you gotta travel a long way. It's just a short little poke forward. So here, here, here. Okay? That's the footwork. And my feet don't travel that far. But that way I use my entire body as a mechanism to pull and then to push forward. And it adds a whole new dimension to the striking power. Okay, have a good day.